Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you records from all different genres. I've got rock from the late 80s and early 90s. I've got a record that is a grail for me that I had been looking for for years that I now finally have. I have a psych record, an early country record I've been looking for for a long time, and I've got John Coltrane, an amazing box set that I I'm looking forward to showing you as well and let me go ahead and get started if you're not a subscriber to my channel please subscribe I would really appreciate your support and let me go ahead and get started with the first record and this is Slaughter Stick It To Ya this is a very cool record this is something I've been wanting for a while this is a reissue from Friday's Music and it's limited to 500 copies. I have the gold vinyl copy. I think there's a red vinyl copy that's limited to 500 as well. But it comes with a beautiful gatefold. And I have wonderful memories of seeing Slaughter. They opened for Kiss during the Hot in the Shade tour. That was a very cool tour. I had a lot of fun with my friends that night. And really liked Slaughter. They had the huge song, Up All Night, Sleep All Day. That was a really cool song, as well as Fly to the Angels was wonderful. And so, you know, I had a chance not that long ago to buy an original of this. I was in a store and uh, the record was not priced. So I took it to the front, asked them how much they wanted for it, and they wanted $50. And for my budget and for what I wanted to pay for this record, I passed on it. However, I just went back to that store yesterday and they had it priced at $80. So maybe $50 was a good deal and I maybe should have bought the original. But that's fine. I, I like having this uh, reissue of it. I did save some money by buying the reissue on 180 gram vinyl. So it's real sturdy and it's on this really beautiful translucent gold vinyl it sounds pretty good so i'm happy now to be able to have slaughter in my collection and by the way slaughter came from the band vinnie vincent invasion mark slaughter as well as jamie strum so very happy to have this they were a really talented group and now i'm going to show a psych record that i've been wanting kind of folk kind of psych it's something that I ran into uh, a while back and it was in terrible condition so I had to pass on it but I never forgot it and yesterday I was at a flea market and I saw it in a case and uh, they, were, they were having a 20% off sale got it for really cheap and it is Sonny Bono's 1967 album called Inner Visions it is his only uh, solo album he did and man, I think it's good. I really like it. My husband was just like, eh, but I really like it. I think it's really cool. The first song, uh, it was called, I Just Sit There, 13 minutes long. And uh, it, he sings out uh, from the song Day in the Life by the Beatles. I heard the news today, oh boy. And just has some really cool lyrics, really cool music. I. I really like this. I think it's just so different, so neat. And I got one in really great condition. So I'm guessing the previous owner didn't really like it that much because it doesn't look like they ever played it. It looks like a brand new, this is 1967 you all, and this looks like it is a brand new record. So I like it. I have a very special place in my heart for Sonny Bono. I loved Sonny and Cher. He wrote a song called You Better Sit Down Kids that tore my heart out when I was a kid. But I always liked him and uh, him and son, uh, Cher. So I'm very happy to now have that one in the collection. Here's another record that I always found in really bad condition and was finally able to find a good copy of. Bobby Gentry's Ode to Billy Joe. And this is still in the shrink wrap. It has the old retro price sticker on it. Uh, Bobby Gentry was just a gorgeous woman who sang incredible songs. She was a great storyteller. The song Ode to Billy Joe 
to be honest with you, how I got familiar with that song was, um, you know, when I would come home from school, we would watch Gilligan's Island, The Brady Bunch, The Beverly Hillbillies, and in between those shows were commercials. And we would see commercials for like Don Ho selling a Hawaiian album, and then some others would be like compilation albums. And I remember hearing clips of the song Ode to Billy Joe on those commercials. They were evidently um, that song was on some kind of compilation album. So I've always liked it and I found a really good copy of it. So I'm so happy to have it. It's on this uh, capital label. And again, the record looks as good and pristine as the cover. So I am happy to have that one in the collection. This next record is the Kiss record, and this is a mystery to me. I got this as a gift from Heath from Australia, and it is a 12-inch single of I Was Made For Loving You, and what I immediately noticed on it is how small the label is. So uh, that one kind of took me back. And then the title is I Was Made For Loving You, but the word loving is spelled L-U-V-I-N, not the way it should be so that's kind of interesting the back is charisma by gene simmons singing that one um that one is pretty much way the 12 inch singles went it's a little bit heavier than the normal 70s pressings that i'm used to and like i said this came from australia i think this could be what they call unofficial but i'm not really sure so if there's anybody who knows a lot about kiss final i would love to know what i have here it sounds pretty decent, it's not bad, and I've actually really enjoyed it. So thank you, Heath, for sending it my way. And the next record is, uh, I'll just show this really quickly, I've shown it on my channel before, the reissue of Cherry Pie by Warrant. Absolutely love it. Cherry Pie is kind of a fun song, but there's some really cool stuff on here, like Uncle Tom's Cabin, I Saw Red, Bed of Roses, uh, sure feels good to me blind faith there's some really good songs on this album and i was able to pick it up in 2018 on this red vinyl from friday music and happy to have it however spinner's record shop in uh, tennessee had an original of it and because i love that record so much i wanted to have the original so here is the original warrants cherry pie and i'll show you the vinyl for it I did listen to both of them just to kind of compare. They are very similar in sound. So if you have the original, you're good. If you have the reissue, you're good. I guess if I had to choose what sounds a little bit better, maybe the original, but they're both really nice and very happy to have an original of Warren's Cherry Pie. And this next record is one that I've been wanting for years. I am still shocked that I was able to get it. You know, I could go on Discogs, I could have bought it from um, a foreign country, but I just never wanted to do that. I wanted to find it in the wild. And sure enough, again, where I bought Warrant's Cherry Pie at Spinner's Record Shop, I found this. And it's absolutely a killer record from 1990 Steel Heart. I don't know if very many of y'all remember them. They were a really good band. I feel like their timing was a little off. I wish they had maybe came along a little earlier because they were so good, so talented. And I love this album. And I'm going to butcher the singer's name, but the lead singer of this band has absolutely one of the best voices I've ever heard. He just soars. He can hit those high notes. He's just absolutely so talented. And let me just say his name, Michael, and M-E-T-I-J-E-V-I-C, Medijevic. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to say his name right, but he was so talented and he's so good. And um, if you don't believe me, please look up the song, I'll Never Let You Go by Still Heart. It's an incredible song, beautiful. I played it for my husband thinking he would recognize the song and he said, you know, I don't recognize it, but I like it. It's really good. And this is wonderful. I'm so thrilled to have this in the collection now. Like I said, it's a German press on this MCA record label. 
I'm so glad to have this finally in the collection. So the next what I'm going to show is a box set. It is John Coltrane. These records are in mono. It came out in 2016 from the Atlantic uh, record label. And these are absolutely wonderful records. I love jazz. I don't have a ton of jazz, but I'm starting to get, you know, a pretty good collection. Didn't have a ton of John Coltrane, so I thought this box set would be a really great way to have some John Coltrane. And these records sound incredible. This came with it, just showing all of the records that are in this box set. And it came with this book that has a lot of information about the records. So let me see if I can show you some of the information in here. As you can see, it's just sort of written. There's some good pictures too. And I just really love it. And the uh, records were mastered by John Weber at Air Studios. Like I said, I think they sound really good. Let me go over the records really quickly. Uh, first off is a 45 of My Favorite Things Part 1 and 2. It looks exactly like it did when it came out back in the day. Just a really cool little 45 in this record sleeve. We also have Giant Steps, which I think is a killer record. I absolutely love this. Uh, and the covers are in beautiful glossy tip-on sleeves so the quality is a really great there's also inserts and the picture of the cover albums you know if you want to create a wonderful jazz room for your music room you have you know if you wanted to frame these they are suitable for framing absolutely gorgeous so love having these as inserts in these records and they're all 180 gram they are mono pressings they sound really good here is a black label for the Atlantic record just really really nice love the album giant steps and also this is another one that I absolutely love if you ever see this one in the wild even if you don't pick up this box set pick up bags and train this is really a wonderful record. You would really enjoy it. I love that one. And then we have Olay, which is another really good record. Really enjoy that one. Coltrane Plays the Blues. This is a really good one as well. I love just having these very clean copies. Let me just show you the label. I showed you the label of the first one with the black and the silver. And the rest of these are all on this Atlantic label that look like this. So very nice. We also have the avant-garde John Coltrane and John Cherry. This is a really good one that I really enjoy as well. And then here we go is the John Coltrane Legacy. Uh, just a paper cover here. And uh, we again have this white or i'm sorry black and silver label so i absolutely love it love having this box set it is so good and please let me know if you know anything about that kiss record let me know what you think about the other records i've shown in this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time take care bye bye